What? The forbidden fruit? What's that? <sighs> yeah, right, man. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video for the next three days. I'm going raw, raw vegan, specifically the fruitarian diet. It's one of the most restrictive diets that you can follow and it's exactly what it sounds like. Up to 90% of the food you're consuming is coming from raw fresh fruits and the rest coming from stuff like nuts and seeds. So a big proponent of this diet was actually Steve Jobs. It actually helped him inspire the name of his company, Apple. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Also notable celebrities that followed this diet were Leonardo da Vinci and Gandhi. So this diet is quite a lot different than what I'm used to. I'm a very protein driven kind of guy. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna make me feel over the next three days. So let's get into the video. It's time to eat. So I'm gonna be making a fruit salad, but I like one of those fruit salads you find at the grocery store for $10 loaded with cantaloupe and honeydew. Honeydew is just a goddamn scam. Those flavorless, disgusting morsels of disappointment. So I think my biggest concern, obviously with the next three days is my protein intake, which I'll for sure figure out, but also will I even stay full? So this diet's a lot like intuitive eating. They just tell you to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. But I don't know, I feel like fruit's not that filling. I'll just continue to eat. And some fruits are very high in calories. Like a mango has a lot of calories in it. So I think I'm actually, I could potentially gain weight on this, but we'll see. So going into this fruit salad or fruit tray, whatever you want to call it, I got here a mini watermelon. I'll probably do half now, half later. Also got two fresh apricots, apricots, you say tomato, I say tomato. Never actually had fresh apricots, usually just have the dry ones. Also here have two plums. Haven't had an apple in ages, the doctors are closing in, so have an apple here of the Gala breed. And then also a grapefruit, don't usually use grapefruit for consumption, but today we are gonna give it a shot. Uh, so why do people follow this diet, literally? Why? So you have the vegans who do like the animal, you can't eat animal products, nothing coming from animals, and then you have the fruitarians that believe Every living organism deserves to live, and that is even including the plants. So there hasn't been any sort of long-term scientific studies on the diet itself, but many proponents claim it helps with mental clarity, energy, focus, weight loss, and a stronger immune system. So I'm gonna cut this all up, and then we're gonna eat it. Oh, that's a juicy looking watermelon. Look at that. Ooh, okay. They say enjoy the journey, not the destination, but when it comes to cutting up fruit, I don't know about that. Well, this is definitely one of the more beautiful dishes I have ever put together. Just looking at it, I'm hydrating myself right now, and I'm getting some Middle Ages vibes from this dish, although it's absent of a ginormous turkey leg and some box wine. Also got some bananas on deck, just in case this doesn't fill me up. So let's go with the plum. I'm intrigued by this plum. Doesn't look too great. Good. Pretty rock hard though, that's what she said. A little sweet, a little sour. Hmm. Okay, let's try the grapefruit. So with grapefruit, with oranges, there's like the people who eat the stuff and then the people who suck the stuff. I've been taught since day one to suck it dry. Don't even leave a drop. But I think because this is my only source of nutrition, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Oh, I hate that white stuff. Ooh. There's something so rewarding about eating a watermelon like this. Mm. The apricots turn. Wow, those are good. Whoa, <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm oddly extremely full and very well hydrated. Like this watermelon was juicy, it was squirting me with its love juice. That plum was the dark horse of that dish. It was really good. So, so far off to a good start. I am quite surprised how full I am right now, but I will see you guys when I decide to have a snack. Guys, so Ollie absolutely loves fruit, loves apples and loves watermelon, watermelon, especially off of the rind. So I'm gonna show you guys him eating it. He absolutely gets after it. Here we go. Yo, dude, come here. Want some watermelon? There you go. What do you think? There you go, that's a good bite. You getting hydrated, bro? Wanna go fruitarian? Dude, whoa, chill, chill, man. Whoa.
Just working on a video right now, and after that first meal I had, within 10 minutes after eating it, my stomach was on fire. I felt like my stomach lining was gonna like rip out. Also like an hour after, I was starving again. Like So in the moment you're eating it, there's a lot of volume of food, so you feel full, but it just digests so quickly that you just feel really hungry. So it's only, it's not even 2.30 yet, I'm about to eat again. So here I have um, the other half of the watermelon, which I've been working on, some coconut water, and then some couple kiwis I'm gonna cut open, kind of look like kangaroo's ball sacks, and then some pumpkin seeds. So they are raw pumpkin seeds. And I'm being very careful with these because it's 300 calories for a quarter cup, which is absolutely crazy. So in terms of what you can drink on the fruitarian diet, coconut water is good. Some uh, fruitarians have coffee. So you better believe I'm gonna have some coffee. Tea is good, fresh fruit juice is good. Water is obviously good. Some fruitarians actually don't drink any fluid at all and believe that the fruit itself will hydrate you. I'm not gonna do that. I like my fluids. So right now, I just feel like kind of sick. I'm hungry, but like while I'm eating this, I just feel a little bit sick. So hopefully that kind of subsides after today. But yeah, so I'm gonna continue my work and then probably gonna go cook up some sort of a more substantial lunch. 4.30, so it's lunchtime now and I had no idea what to make. So I went onto YouTube and searched up fruitarian full day of eating and I saw this lady make this salad that I'm gonna make right now because I have all the ingredients at home. So in the bowl right here, I have tomatoes, two tomatoes, a bunch of cucumber, two tablespoons of avocado oil and a juice of a full lemon with some salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna add this entire avocado and then a couple tablespoons of flax seed, and then some chia seeds, because on this diet, protein is pretty hard to come by, so nuts and seeds are pretty much your only hope. This salad is just screaming for some feta cheese right now, let me tell you that. So this version of the diet that I'm following is the most aggressive form of the fruitarian diet, because I'm doing 90% uh, raw fruits and stuff like that, but they have a lot of modified versions, like up to 50% raw fruit and then 20% protein coming from still protein sources where you're not using plant-based stuff. So it's kind of um, like you're using tofu, seitan, and tempeh, stuff like that. So obviously when you follow a diet that's very um, restrictive on like food groups or just restrictive in any way, you're gonna face some troubles with nutrient deficiencies. And with this diet in particular, you have a lot of problems with that. So that's why a lot of people don't actually follow the full on, full blown fruitarian diet. So a lot of people actually do follow the one that I was just mentioning, 50% coming from fruits. Then you have 10% from grains and then from, you got some protein there. So you kind of have some something of all food groups. So here's my lunch, looks really good. Smells really good, deceivingly a ton of calories. Like I'm assuming a full avocado, a couple tablespoons of oil, the flax seeds, the chia seeds, probably over 600 calories in this bowl. So I'm sure I'm certainly getting my calories in, just not in the, the normal ratios I would normally get. Well, this is definitely a nice break from all the sweetness and like the coldness of the fruit. I'm already really missing like savory, salty, like warm food. Like I wanna cook something so bad. This is gonna be a tough three days. I am unsure of many things in my life, but what I am sure of right now in this very moment is I miss hot cooked food. I just need something warm and salty in my mouth. What I would do for something savory right now, what I would do, but the show must go on. So for dinner tonight, I am having some zucchini noodles with some red peppers, tahini dressing, some walnuts, dates, and these bananas that have been with me all day long. Oh, hello. Every fruitarian needs their road bananas. Super jealous right now of pizza night. Will, zucchini, peppers, they're vegetables. You already failed the diet. Guys, you are right, but you're also wrong at the same time. They are fruit vegetables. So things like zucchini, peppers, eggplant, tomatoes, squash, pumpkin, they're all fair game. Well, it looks like spaghetti. Certainly doesn't taste like it though. But I guess with the vegan diet, it's all about using your imagination, so. It's such an odd combination of foods. I never thought I'd have like this with a banana. I feel like a chimpanzee. I feel like I just need to like take my clothes off and eat this in a tree naked. Mm. But I won't do that for this video. Can I smell that? Mm. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. 
Okay, so other than the fact that I haven't really enjoyed today at all, I felt actually pretty good. I've had smooth, constant energy throughout the day. When I was doing work, I felt very concentrated. I think it's because my body's not really focused on digesting so much protein and it's just worried about doing other things that I imagine are quite important. In terms of hydration, I haven't had really anything to drink today. I haven't had the need or the urge to have any water. I had a cup of water in the morning, then some coconut water when I showed you guys earlier. But other than that, the food's kind of just hydrated me itself. But I think it's very important to have some fruit vegetables or the more like savory components like the seeds and stuff because it kind of, it's a little bit easier on your stomach, I think. Like that first meal did me dirty. All that fruit, the acidity just like ripped my stomach lining, like burned my stomach. So definitely gonna kind of mix and match the fruits with kind of like the nuts and like the vegetables. And yeah, so, so far day one has been pretty good. Good morning, everyone. Day number two and check out this time. It's almost 10.30 and I literally just woke up. I can't even remember the last time I've woken up that late. Maybe when I discovered NyQuil for the first time, but I don't know if it was from the fruit, but I was certainly a tired boy. Feeling very sharp and focused to just feeling like a Black Panther and also very slightly, slightly, just a little undertone of nauseousness. So again, don't know if it's the fruit, just documenting how I feel. So I just read up my first cup of black coffee and then we're getting into our first fruitarian workout of these three days. So just about halfway done the workout, feel pretty good. Feels like just a normal day. The pump is okay, but I'm feeling a lot more vascular than I normally would be. At the beginning of the workout, the weights felt heavy. I think that was just more of like a psychological component because I'm just thinking about the fact that I've had less protein in the past day and a half than I typically get in like one meal. So once I kind of overcame that, I just realized it was not that big of a deal. Workout has been fine. Energy has been good. So gonna finish up the workout and then head upstairs and make a crazy post-workout smoothie. Time to make the post-workout smoothie. So I actually pride myself on being quite the good smoothie artist, but the stuff I'm putting in my smoothie today I don't normally do. So we are just winging it, going with the flow like I would do in high school. So here I got one apple, going with an apple again. My liquid for this smoothie is gonna be coconut water. I don't believe I can use cashew milk, which I normally would do. Got some wild blueberries. Got a mango here, I'm probably gonna go half, half of that. Got another half of an avocado, I'm gonna use the whole thing. Couple of pineapple, because pineapple's good for a uh, you know, and have a couple of chia seeds. So I'm gonna put this all together and see how it goes. Coconut water, absolutely awesome. Haven't really had it much other than these past couple of days. Love it, expensive though. An apple, skin on. Skin's where a lot of that nutrients is. Ooh, this mango has seen better days, but we're gonna kinda go around the edges here. Whoa, squirting out both ends, jeez. All right, so we're just gonna add some chia seeds and I'm probably going with some ice. And I think that's gonna do it. Tons of calories in this thing. That's quite aggressive with the chia seeds. But that's my protein source. Now, will it blend? That is the question. Will we need to use this? We will see. Come on. All right, done. It smells fruity. Look at that. Wow. Thick like I like it. My taste buds are just overwhelmed right now. You know what, that avocado is coming to play. Didn't put quite that much in here, but it's doing its job. I would've liked more from that mango. Especially that pineapple too. This just tastes like a blueberry avocado smoothie. Well, that was quite good and refreshing. That actually went right through me. It feels like I just took an enema. My taste buds were like, when was the protein powder gonna turn up? And I was just like, it's not, I'm sorry. So, gonna go shower up and then probably go for a walk and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. You know, when you do things like this, you start to miss the things that you once had, like flavor. Although it has been a very, very nice break in my digestive system, like my typical diet, gives you enough gas to send you airborne. But not with this one, you don't get any sort of gas. You feel fine all day, but it'll just hit you all at once. You'll just be walking all of a sudden, and you're like, uh-oh, this is it. And it's not a very compact and spherical exit. It's more like when you get in over your head at Taco Bell and gotta pay the price a little bit later. When it rains, it pours, they say, right? So obviously this is just an adjustment phase, I would think. I mean, that's no way to live otherwise. And obviously your body's just getting used to like the different foods coming in, different quantities of that type of food coming in. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna try this, I highly recommend a diaper. 
Next meal of the day is gonna be a salad. So again, I got cucumber, tomato. I've never had papaya before, so I bought a pre-packaged one here. I'm gonna give that a shot, it looks interesting. Uh, flaxseed, chia, some raw almonds. Gonna make a dressing with uh, lemon juice and tahini. Potentially gonna add watermelon, not too sure yet. Look what my mom just made, this beautiful banana bread. She always makes stuff when I can't eat it. But I'm telling you right now, in a day and a half, that baby's mine. All right, so for dinner tonight, I had fruitarian fettuccine alfredo. Hold the alfredo, hold the pasta, hold the life, aka zucchini noodles with tahini dressing. But now I'm about to watch that show Money Heist on Netflix. So you guys have actually recommended that one to me, thought I would like it. So I'm gonna give it a shot tonight, but obviously you gotta eat something when you watch TV. That's just what you do. So I don't wanna eat any more nuts. I'm tired of nuts, can't have chips, can't have anything sweet like ice cream. So what's the next best thing to ice cream? is um, banana ice cream, not actually, but in my situation, it is. So I made it myself, it was pretty easy. It was just one banana blended up in a food processor and that's it. Topped it off with some pomegranate. Are we sure pomegranate is a fruit and not a task? Because getting these seeds out was something. So here it is, certainly does not look like my friends Ben and Jerry, but we will give it a taste test. It looks like ice cream. I'm actually quite impressed how this actually came out. There's just something about it that says I'm being compromised. Like this, this does not taste like vanilla ice cream at all, which is to be expected, but it's actually, it's not bad. I mean, I would quite honestly prefer eating a banana like this every single time over the regular way. And the pomegranate things add a nice crunch. But overall, not bad, a good snack here. So I'm gonna go watch Money Heist, probably stay up till 4 a.m. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Today has been the first time in a long time where I woke up and I was like, I need to eat right now. So I went downstairs, had a full avocado, feeling weird, not bad, just weird. Like I've done some extended fast in the past around 65 hours and I feel the exact same, just very sharp and with it and aware, all my senses are heightened. I feel like if I heard a penny drop at the end of the street, I'd just be like, you know, so I'm just very, I'm, I'm, I'm here right now, you know? Uh, definitely miss warm cooked food, that is for sure. These three days have felt like two weeks. Like I really, miss my old stuff so can't wait to get back to it tomorrow uh so i have to go to the grocery store right now because i am all out of fruit ran my family's uh, supply dry so see you guys when i get there unsuccessful grocery run check there was a lot of abused and bruised fruits in that produce section and it was making me actually feel kind of sad seeing them in that state because at this point i kind of feel like i'm one with the fruit right now and when i was walking around the grocery store i was kind of thinking like I think I'd be a passion fruit if I was a fruit. I'm just a very sensitive, caring guy. What kind of fruit would you guys be and why? Comment down below. So I'm gonna have to figure out another grocery store to go to if I actually wanna eat today because I'm pretty much all out of fruit. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so for lunch today, I have a full pound of grapes. I have never seen this type of grape before in my life, but they are absolutely amazing. They taste like candy. I usually just see the red or the green ones, but these ones are like a mixture of the two. So if you guys see these in your grocery store, highly recommend you give them a shot. Also got here another thing of coconut water. So what I have found over the past couple of days is when I stick to one type of fruit per meal, it's a lot easier on my stomach. Don't get any sort of burning pain as opposed to if I have a wide variety of different fruits, it just wrecks me. So I've been doing fruit with a fruit vegetable or fruit with some seeds or just the one type of fruit on its own and I have been fine. But now it is time for the Train Your Heart hoodie giveaway from last week's video and I picked the two winners and the first winner is Jordan Allen and then the second winner is Kristen Slater, Slater, hardly know her, literally hardly know her. So the two of you guys, please slide into my DMs on Instagram and I'll hook you all up with your hoodies. For everyone who has bought something so far, thank you guys so much for your support. And if you haven't yet, the sale ends in May. So hurry up before it's too late. So the fruitarian diet encourages you to have a wide variety of fruits, including the exotic ones. I like the sound of that. So what I did is when I went to the grocery store, I picked up a few fruits that I find to be exotic. They might not be to you, wherever you are in the world, but to me, the boy in Canada, they are quite exotic to me, so we're gonna do a little taste test. All right, let's get into this. So the first one that I got is called the Loquat, which I believe is probably the brother of the Kumquat, or sister. Here I got some passion fruit, and then some cactus pears. So right away, first glance, this is not screaming refreshment that a normal fruit would do to me, like a nice wedge of watermelon. This is screaming uncertainty. But let's start with the Loquat. Oh, yeah, there's seeds. Okay. Yeah, seeds, fruit. Well, oh, that's really good, actually. Wow. Hmm. That is juicy. Tastes like a mild peach. 
Okay, now let's go with the passion fruit. Uh, presentation, I have seen quite a lot better. Okay, I think this one has to be cut in half. It's a fun looking fruit. I don't know how I feel about that. Very weird mouth feel. I like the little crunch with the sliminess. It's kind of cool feeling. Okay, now let's go with the, the cactus pear. Kind of reminds me of Bowser from Mario Party with the spikes and here we go. Ooh, that's not good. That's really bad. Tastes like a wall. There's not much to it. Very weird texture. I don't like it at all. No, I'm gonna eat it. I don't wanna waste it, but oh, that is bad fruit. This one is sick. The, lo the loquat, you guys have loquats at your grocery store? I'm gonna pick them up. All right, guys, the time has finally come. The last and final meal of the fruitarian diet before I go back to normal. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Like you have no idea, but in this bowl, is the last and final salad. This little bowl has over a thousand calories in it. And in it, we have some spaghetti squash that I cannot spaghettify because I have to eat it raw. So it's just chopped very, very finely. A handful of pecans, a handful of almonds, tahini dressing, chia seeds, kiwi, and some grape tomatoes. So I was doing some more research on the fruitarian diet and guess what I found? They recommend when you first start during the transition phase that you steam or cook down your veggies and your fruit just a little bit because eating raw food straight up right away is very hard on your stomach and I would have to agree. So if you guys are gonna do this, highly recommend that you take that step. Now, once I finish this, going to bed, waking up tomorrow and I am just cooking everything on the stove tomorrow, I cannot wait. I must say like 85% of my calories the past three days have come from tahini, it's crazy. But I've certainly got my calories in the past couple days. So it just goes to show you, no matter what diet you do, you can make it work somehow. You just gotta know what to do. Last bite of the fruitarian diet. Wow, I'm actually really full right now. Raw squash is actually really good. Who would have thought? So I'll see you guys in the morning for the weigh-in and my overall thoughts on the diet. Okay, it's the next day. What the hell happened? Not much. I lost 0.6 of a pound. Now, I do notice I don't look as lean. I don't have that round fullness in my muscle. I look very flat and actually look like I put on some body fat even though I did lose some weight. That was an extremely, extremely, extremely hard three days to follow. Like, I wanted to cook my food so badly. I don't know how people do this. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this diet is bad, A, because I only did it for three days and B, because a diet is a lifestyle. It's being able to adjust to a new normal. You know, I choose to cook my food. I choose to get my protein from dairy, from meats, from protein powders, whereas fruitarians choose to not cook their food and get their protein from nuts and seeds, you know? So life is what you make it. It's being able to adapt to the lifestyle that you choose. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.